We're doing a show within a show. Bill Burr in studio. Billy! Hello, fellas. Good to see you again, Bill. What's going on? Not much, actually. We're kind of just calling it in. We got one more show for this year. (laughs) And then we'll uh, regroup for next year. Another uh, guy jacking off on the camera had to be booted out of the room. What's going on with that? We're on uh, Pal Talk, as you know. Uh, we got uh, well over a hundred and some odd people in this room here right now. A lot on camera, but uh, sometimes guys will come in, and um, I don't know. They don't know the gist of the room. They see a couple of girls, and decide it's time to pull their pants down, put the camera camera on their cock, and, and just jerk start off, jacking, and just start jacking off. There's about 800 listeners trying to get it up right now. Yeah, gonna try to. Oh, oh, get on here. And yes. No, they will be booted. <laughs> this is not a jacking. There are plenty of jacking uh, sites you can go to on, on uh, Pal Talk if that's what you're into. I'm sure Jimmy Norden, you could find his name on there on a nightly basis. <laughs> yeah, Jim's, Jim's done a little whacking in one of the rooms. Like, I don't want anybody to know who I am. There's the appendix scar. <laughs> <laughs> Fat stomach in my name. Like fucking, <laughs> fucking master reality CD near my thigh. See some st- some little... St- Stones in the corner of the room, uh, in the hallway. Yeah, so celebrity photos in the background. I was going to say, yeah, his wall of fame is in the background. Damn it, you got me. <laughs> Who's uh, all those celebrities with that lesbian? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Mississippi. We don't get calls from Mississippi uh, Mississippi. Often. Reno. Hey, how you guys doing today? What's Am up, I? Reno? Great, great. Man, uh, new listener to the XM uh, radio, uh, Opie and Anthony, Bill Burr, and uh, Jimmy, you guys made me laugh all the way to work. Just wanted to tell you guys you're great. How Thank long you, have you been listening to the program? Uh, probably about a month. Oh, cool, man. Tell your friends. Yeah, we I, got, oh, we got I, to say I, hi I, to all the new listeners. A lot of people got XM for Christmas, and they're just checking out the show for the first time. So uh, welcome aboard. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. You guys have a great day. All right, Reno. Bye-bye. Thank you. Yeah, we shouldn't even be working, but the satellite radio thing, everyone's opening up their Christmas presents. They got the XM. They're getting it hooked up, so they want to hear something live. So here yeah, we are. Yeah, you're not going to uh, hear uh, much live radio this week. In general? Yeah. No. A lot of people um, go best stuff. There you go. Not us. Not us. Troopers in here working. I can't for even the get people, man. Phoning it in. Right, phoning it in for the people. <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, even get my apartment painted. I want to get my my gay color taken out, but because the building won't allow any construction. During building this time. won't allow it. Won't allow it. Hey, this is too bad. Uh, this just came in. Uh, comedian Mitch Hedberg died accidentally in March of multiple drug toxicity, including cocaine and heroin. Eek. Spin Magazine reports cited reports filed by the New Jersey Medical Examiner's Office. This is different because a lot of people uh, believe that he died of a heart attack or a heart failure. Who believed that? No that, one in the comedy that, industry. No one that I know, uh, knew Mitch. This is right up it. there with Kid Kennedy was shot. We yeah. only know shit. <laughs> well, that was the story they were telling to everyone at the time, but it's official. It was uh, it was an overdose, uh, cocaine and heroin. Coke and heroin. How many people has that taken out? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I know. Thirty-seven died in a hotel room in Livingston, New Jersey. Less than like a couple days after I met him, which was creepy. He was ready to come on our show. Give me a big hug backstage at Caroline's. Had a great. Uh, a great set, and we exchanged numbers, and we were going to get him on the show, like, that Monday or that Tuesday. And I think he died the next day, actually. They actually quote Maureen. Who's Ma- Maureen? My ex-manager, and um, I don't know if Adam and her are still dating, but... Uh, oh, yeah. She's a comedy manager. Mm-hmm. It's a very lonely existence, Taryn said. Her name is Maureen Taryn. Uh, if you aren't born with manic depression, you will have it after being in this business. Ooh. Wow. That's uplifting. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> hey, join the wonderful world of comedy. <laughs> I know. You'll love it. It's no punchline, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You're all a bunch of <laughs> that was a realistic film. <laughs> oh, punchline? Oh, Sally Field wins the big contest. Of course she and does. That was the part that was realistic. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're right. That, he's abs- that is the part that was Some realistic. Character. I'm a housewife. That was such a hack. Jokes. <laughs> such a hack movie, that punchline. It was awful. Yeah, it and was... Tom, Tom Hanks is crying on stage, and everybody's moved, and Barry Sobel is still working. It's just fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> Barry <laughs> Sobel. <laughs> Sobel. <laughs> awful. But I am. I, I love the guy. We need laughers tonight. The old guy they wouldn't put in the contest. He's like, I'm not on the list. They're like, we need laughers. Like, they made the old man sit in the audience. Oh. It's what they should. That's where Keith Robinson's at, pretty much. <laughs> 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 hey. 
Speaking of comedy, we got uh, some audio of Club Soda Kenny doing stand-up at the Cringe Humor Show. That happened a couple weeks ago. Good. And I hear he killed on stage, so. Did he? What are you laughing at? Club Soda Kenny. Oh. It's Kenny. Why? No, I, I missed something. Yeah, he, he killed. Oh, you thought I was laughing at Bill's sandwich? Yeah, no. I didn't know what you were. Uh, that's fine. I just looked at it wow. and would laugh and noticed it looks good. <laughs> now all of a sudden I wouldn't take a bite. Like, <laughs> I know. What was... Like you guys fucking did. So just no, just I, I was confused, that's all. Hazing. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, so it's uh, uh, Club Soda Candy at the Cringe Humor Show. Let's take a little listen here. All right, coming to the stage is a man you'll hear on the Opie and Anthony show almost every day. Put your hands together for Mr. Club Soda Candy. Every day. Every day. I love the people that uh, use this show as their uh, credits. Every day? Hear, hear them on the show almost every day? There what? are advertisements uh, for comedians and stuff in, in local papers, or you'll hear a commercial on uh, a radio mm. show or something, yeah. and, and they'll... Their credit is that they're regular on our show, and, and I don't even know the guy's name. I'm like, that's maybe we had bad. him on like one time, like years ago. And that's your fucking credit. I know, but it's strange. You have to I like exaggerate any credit you have. Yeah, yeah any was... credit you read or see uh, for a comic is so exaggerated. <laughs> uh, there are some that you see, you know, as seen on the Tonight Show, and they mean with Carson, like it was that oh. long ago. You know, yeah, once I, I like the guys who. Who they, they'll say this guy has written for the Tonight Show and all it means is that he submitted jokes, jokes. that they've turned down. <laughs> <laughs> just, seriously, they just he just writes them in and they oh. never use them. I wrote for the show. Yeah. <laughs> the best example of that is Bob Gullub, who's a comic friend of ours, still says in his intro was seen in Goodfellas. Are you kidding? You know Bob Gullub. Yeah. Here's Bob Gullub in Goodfellas. Hey, you got a phone? Two niggers just stole my truck. Yeah, that guy. That's Bob Gullaby. He's in a stand-up comic in the diner, and he and he and, and he was on screen for what five seconds? Or did he, he have more? Slow it down. Yeah, we really? Really, yeah. It was really just a quick one line. It was a funny line, and uh, but that, he's that in his credits. Well, yeah. what's his name from uh, uh, Scarface? What's Angel that? Salazar. Yeah, he had a real part though. At least yeah. Angel had a real part in that. Yeah, but way. to still use it. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> he had. He actually had his character had a name. Yeah, that's another big one. <laughs> it's big if your yeah, character yeah. had a name. Yeah, Guy yeah. driving truck. You're not just <laughs> surly yeah. truck driver. Yeah. That's how you know you're nobody when you're named after your job. Yeah. <laughs> Guy who? <laughs> <laughs> Guy with mop. <laughs> <laughs> Worse to be guy with mop number two. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Second guy. <laughs> guy who caused mess that mop man needed to clean up <laughs> as I slink out. <laughs> uh, let's number listen to four. Let's listen to Kenny. <laughs> wow. Big intro. Exactly. Is he walking still on driving a from Jersey? <laughs> 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 You only wanted me to talk for five minutes, so why are you playing the music so long? Ah, he, he addressed it. Not in a very funny way. <laughs> I want to thank Patrick for inviting me down. It's the holiday season. Is everybody enjoying the show so far? Well, that'll change drastically now. In case anybody doesn't know it, I'm married. And let me tell you, I'd rather eat my own shit than be married. So my wife is always telling me I don't spend enough quality time with her. So I tied up her hands and feet and I jerked off on her nose. I like it. And then I pistol whipped her and fucked her in the ass. That guy, yeah. Normally I don't bother with my wife. I usually just jerk off on her pillow just to let her know I'm around. All right, hold on. There's a theme here. This is killing. Yeah. Who said killing? I heard Here's Club Soda Kenny. Here's Club Soda Kenny did some stand up, and I heard he killed. Here's the uh, review. Club Soda Kenny and own a show crony and meet the creeps legend. Stopped by the December Cringe Humor Show and proceeded to violate everyone in the audience, building out rape and pedophile joke one after another. Kenny's performance will go down as one of the most cringeworthy sets in show history. Uh, that uh, cringeworthy does not mean kill. Yes, it does. This guy is a regular on the show, and when he goes on stage, he kills. <laughs> <laughs> he is not killing. Well, let's listen further here. It may pick up. That's because the last time my wife said yes to me is when I proposed. That should be a setup, Kenny. My wife is always telling me that I'm not romantic. So to get back at her, I fucked her dog. 
<laughs> I'm not gay or nothing. It was a female dog. It didn't even make sense. And I know what you're thinking. Like, I could have fucked her best friend to get even with her, but believe me, the dog was the better choice. And recently, I asked my wife to get her belly button pierced. This way, I would have some place to hang an air freshener. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's getting you get it? Her cunt stinks. <laughs> 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 How does he go home after this set? Uh, well, he probably figured it wouldn't be played on a national radio show. Yeah, yeah. That's true. You used to be safe, you know. Regular radio can't play this. No. Uh, Club Soda Kenny. Good morning, everyone. Hi, Happy Kenny. Hi, Hi, Kenny. Hi, Kenny. Hello, everybody. We're in the middle of critiquing your set. Well, I, I can't understand the unwarranted attention. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you had a wild set down there. Well, you know, it was the holiday season, so I thought I'd give everybody a treat. Wow, you are uh, pretty rank, pretty raw. Well, you know, overall it wasn't bad. Like, the life stuff went over pretty good. But once I started with the rape and the pedophile stuff, then it was downhill from there. Yeah. Well, we surprising. Got, we got more of your stand-up, so <laughs> you, you guys want to hear it? or Do I? Uh, yeah? Yeah. All right, hold on there, Kenny. I want okay. this on CD. Before my wife, I was engaged to a girl with a wooden leg, but I broke it off. <laughs> That's clean. And you know what else is annoying? The only time my wife stops talking is when her mother starts. But I guess I really shouldn't <laughs> complain about my wow. wife. She really is the perfect woman. I mean, what other wife would lick your asshole while you fuck her mother? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that guy just go, oh! He recoiled. Yeah. <laughs> and they're all giving you a chance. They want to like you. And I like how they didn't give him anything on that first mother-in-law joke. Right. It was like from 1955, <laughs> Honeymooners <laughs> joke. Yeah, the mother-in-law. Yeah. The old battle axe <laughs> came over last night. <laughs> This guy writes for Henny Youngman. Yeah. yeah. Next guy coming to the stage. He sounds a little bit like Rupert Pumpkin in his... Uh... Rupert Pumpkin. <laughs> Take my wife's cunt, please. He's <laughs> got that same delivery as Rupert. Ma! <laughs> and I know I'm a bad husband because I cheat on my wife. Like one time I met this girl and she was so horny, all she wanted to do was fuck... And then I found out her nickname was Robocunt. <laughs> and then last night I met this Filipino girl. But by the end of the night, she wasn't Filipino. She was full of penis. I Holy filled her belly button up with so much cum that it sank. I turned her what? pussy into a Snickers bar. It was packed with penis. Oh, my God, got... oh man. Kenny? I got flop sweat. You, I like how your set has a dynamic. It yeah. has its highs and its low point. Like uh, you started out, people were not not like uh, laughing or applauding, but they were reacting. Right. Now you've reached that point in the dynamic where they're just not even acknowledging you're up there. Uh, I, I, I got reaction. You know, I, people got to understand, <clears throat> Susie, I don't do this for a living. I just do it as a group to entertain my friends. But and, and the audience isn't mic'd. Like, even on the big laughs, you can hear them in the background. Yeah. So the, there probably are some laughs that we're not hearing because the audience isn't mic'd. All right. There's like, there's like 100 people there. Plus the guy, he's walking the line here. This is what happens. Yeah. That's yeah. When you take chances on and that. He's working a little blue. Yeah, you know, just a little, just a tad <laughs> a little blue. I would love to hear Club Soda Kenny do the aristocrats joke. This is PD his version 13. of the aristocrats joke. I yeah. want to see Kenny go up and do these jokes clean. I want to see all the profanity removed. Yeah, all right. that would be a, a very interesting set. Let's get back to the set here. One time, I went out with this girl that worked at the International House of Pancakes, and when she got done with work, I hop on her ass. Kenny's but I'm glad to see we got some yeah. good-looking chicks here tonight. I hop. You're a really hot chick. Uh -oh. You're so hot, I bet when you were born, you burnt your mother's pussy hairs coming out. <laughs> and speaking of childbirth, does the clitoris act like a speed bump when the kid is born? 
That was a segue. And she's got big right. tits, too, in case she didn't I have a say question him. He that. got nothing on that one. Well, it doesn't make sense. What, is she giving birth on her head? How, how does that yeah, work? Yeah, why? Do you know the female anatomy, <laughs> Kenny? Oh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, the clitoris doesn't... It's the, not in the place where a speed bump would be for a child coming out. Yeah, the baby would bump the front of his forehead. I don't know. It's like a comedy. <laughs> yeah. Something like it, in that it is spoken. Yes, there's a microphone involved. How do you yeah. fix that joke? What if you had her slide down the taint and fall into the asshole? <laughs> like that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Free. <laughs> Free. Free advice. Uh, bring it up to the stage. He wrote that. for Club Soda Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Burr, let's give him a big hand. <laughs> uh, let's continue here. I like a chick that comes with standard airbags. You're really hot, too. You look like good eats. I bet you your cunt's so spreadable, it's incredible. You know what also works, what he's doing here? Any slogan from commercials that are 25 or 30 years old, that, that's really going to get the crowd going. So spreadable, it's incredible. Isn't that, what, isn't that some kind of craft product or peanut butter? What? What what used that slogan, uh, Club Soda? Hey, nobody said I was like topical at current events. Yeah. You know, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> You're like fun. speedy Alka Seltzer, lady. <laughs> yeah, it's not nice to rape Mother Nature. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I fucked the whole thing. <laughs> I'd like to have a cunt and a smile and keep me company. <laughs> I'm writing this all down. Hold on, I gotta write this down. Holy shit! Oh, she's got ring around the asshole. <laughs> Time to make the goo. <laughs> Oh. Oh. See, see, that's the difference. Oh. You guys are funny. I'm a rapist. He's a rapist. <laughs> You're a rapist. We're all rapists. We're... You like to be a rapist, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, something from this decade, at least. Oh. I personally love the RoboCop joke. Yeah, the RoboCop. <laughs> oh. God, do I wish I could remember more Nick at Night commercials right now. That's all I'm thinking of. All I have is you sank my battleship, and I don't know how to make it dirty. <laughs> how do you fit that in? Uh, you sank my cunt. How's that? There you go. I would say that. That's all yours. Take it. That's ah, a freebie. Enjoy. Spreadable. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you feel like a cunt. <laughs> there we go. I knew there was one in there. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, good stuff, Kenny. Yeah. Well, well let's see uh, now what happens gonna, next here. Now he's going to be middling. <laughs> this one over here looks like my old girlfriend, Chlamydia. And she had a cunt like a catcher's mitt. What, one time when I was fingering her, she was complaining about my ring, and I said, Honey, that's not my ring. That's my wristwatch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a good one. All right, I'm giving him that one. Do you know what makes me funny? Is it makes it funny. Is he said wristwatch? Yes, yeah. your watch. Wristwatch, <laughs> as opposed to a pocket watch <laughs> that I wear when the covered wagon comes up. Honey, that's my timepiece. <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking. I'm like, honey, that's my sundial. <laughs> that's my Stonehenge. This woman wanted to fuck. I didn't even have time to take off my spats. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, spats joke. <laughs> Jesus, Anthony. I'm fingering at the White's Only Water Fountain. But Kenny's getting laughs, though. He's oh, getting he laughs. Oh, he certainly is. Yeah. You know how many hickeys are under this ascot? <laughs> Hey, uh, Tommy can... <laughs> uh, Jimmy just did a spit take. Uh, Tom in Kentucky. Tom. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. I got, I got a kidding joke for you. Yeah. Ho, 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 smelly pussy. Watch it out. I'm not going to pay a lot for that pussy. <laughs> Zombie, North Carolina. Hey, he forgot the most important one. Where's the beef? Ah. Yeah, but you got to put it in. Oh, forget Where's it. the beef curtains? <laughs> That's funny. There you go. All right. 
let's get back to Club Soda Kenny's stand-up. And you know what else? She had stretch marks all over her stomach. But they used to come in handy because when I'd come on her belly, they act like sperm gutters. Oh, they and, and let me <laughs> ask you. <laughs> sperm gutters? I've never heard that. If you come on a chick's belly and she rubs it in on her tits, does that make her marriage material? <laughs> what? Did you ever notice? And you know what else I got to know? <laughs> Is it polite to drop a load on a chick's leg while you eat her ass? <laughs> Is that polite? Because you know my motto, haste makes paste. What? what? A bird in the hand You're right, I'll is get worth to it, two in your bush. <laughs> He's like an old-timey guy. <laughs> He's a Borscht Belt comic. I, I like the way he gets louder as it comes. And then, 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 then punchline. It just yeah. gets really loud at the punchline. Don't be penny wise and cunt foolish. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony in Jersey. A penny saved is a pussy burned. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony in Jersey. Hey, honey, you cunt like a Toyota. Oh, what a feeling. <laughs> 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 Melt in your mouth, not in your cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are the commercials? Why can't I remember? Any? What are you writing, Stan? All right, all right. A stitch in time will save you behind. Ah, <laughs> uh, Brian in Ohio. Uh, Brian. Yeah, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a uterus? <laughs> <laughs> It goes downstairs. I eat cunt hairs <laughs> <laughs> while I make a slurpity sound. My act is stinky. It's stinky. <laughs> Leave off the last S for syphilis. That's uh, Chester's liver from Whack Bag. <laughs> My wrist watch. You are how old are you? Kenny? Ancient commercial references. That's because that's how old that joke is. Who's got yeah. the best darn pussy in the whole wide world? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Doctor D. Doctor oh. D. Speak softly and carry a big dick. <laughs> ah, Florida, Sean, what's up? Honey, you are finger fucking good. <laughs> Very good. It plumps when you suck it. <laughs> Kenny's <laughs> cock. <laughs> ben in Virginia. Ben. I can't believe I ate the whole tank. <laughs> My pussy has a second name. It's M E Y E R. <laughs> <laughs> plop, plop. Jizz, jizz. <laughs> oh, what a relief it is. Come on, people. Tap, 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 tap. Come on, 1972. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> Very funny, Kenny. It gets much worse. Oh, yeah, we got the third part. This is the, uh, this is where it turns ugly, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, hold on a minute. Uh, Todd has a question. Yes, Todd. <gasps> Todd? What would you do for a Klondike cunt? <laughs> I gave it to us seven times up the ass. <laughs> the uncolon. Uh, Randy from Staten Island. Yo, the best part of waking up is bulges on your cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a little dirty, Ken. A little dirty. And a little old. I hope you can write real fast, because <laughs> this is A material. Yeah, it's mm. all good stuff for you. All good stuff. No, I know. It's terrific. This yeah. is going to be just as good as Dice's uh, nursery rhymes. This is your thing now, Kenny. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you. You want to hear more of this? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a couple more minutes. Drink you semen can... first. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Mike on Long Island. 45 malt liquor. Mike? <laughs> oh. Yeah, what's up? Please don't fuck the pussy. <laughs> Go ahead, Mike. Oh, okay, Charmin. <laughs> Crazy Kenny, his pussy's insane. 
<laughs> Mr. Nipple. <laughs> ben gave me one. Lego my cunto. <laughs> Why? That's funny. Why did you give me that one? Uh, that was fantastic. That certainly was. Right in front of our eyes. That was fantastic. Time to make the jism. <laughs> Now, now we're starting to bomb. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. All right, we'll go back to Kenny. Now Kenny we know when it's time to go back. There yeah. we go. Time to go back to Kenny. Kenny on stage. You know, the other night, my dog kept me up. My dog was barking all night long until I threw a shoe at it. It was a hush puppy. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You know, I didn't always have a cool job like this. One time I worked at a hospital, but I got fired for throwing the colostomy bags around like water balloons. They didn't seem to mind when I was fucking the old people and the dead people, but the colostomy bags put them over the edge. And ladies, you know what the hardest thing about wearing a colostomy bag is? Back me up. Finding <laughs> shoes to match. <laughs> <laughs> but even though I got fired from the hospital, I still became a gynecologist. Sure. But I got fired from that job, too, because I got caught eating on the job. How many times did he say job? <laughs> yeah, nobody can call me a quitter because I got fired from every job I ever had. And, you know, I usually Wait, don't tell on. this, but since... <laughs> Come on. That was like the clever. That was pretty... Kenny stuck in a clever one. <laughs> clever one. He totally <laughs> threw the crowd off. <laughs> I know. They were bracing themselves. They're like, <laughs> what? It's got to be something really heinous. Yeah. No? Oh. Hey, uh, Pat from Monarchy wants in. Pat? Hey! Have Mikey eat her ass! <laughs> Adam in Texas. Adam. Hey, have you fucked the whole lately? <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. All right, back to uh, Kenny's uh, stand up here. Be a quitter because I got fired from every job I ever had. And you know, I usually don't tell this, but since it's the holidays and you're a nice crowd. One time I was a production assistant on a set of porno movies, and my job was to hold up the guy's ball sack up and out of the way so the camera could get a nice close-up shot of the dick fucking the pussy. Way to word it. But I got fired from that job also because I kept dropping the balls out of my mouth. <laughs> can, can you pause? I want to congratulate what? you on the, the most horribly worded joke ever. <laughs> It, it actually is not a bad joke, but he actually just tells it without joke form. He just talks it through. So I would go to the job, and I would hold the balls up, but that wasn't part of Jesus, Ken. My job as a production assistant. And he said up twice is to hold them up out of the way, up in front of the camera. Up in front of the camera. He just, he just sort of over-explained it. Yeah. Yes. Hold the balls up so they could see the dick. It was like you were applying for the job again. <laughs> what I did was I held the balls up, so I'm good at that there then. He was testifying. Well, yeah. was Two Jews are meandering into a speakeasy that actually lost its liquor license, but then got it back recently. <laughs> and through a string of legal actions, they wound up owning it, but then they were going to sell it. <laughs> so they're meandering. <laughs> Let's go to Matt in Jersey. Matt? Early to bed, early to rise. Makes me want to come in your eyes. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's go, to, let's go to Vegas. Clint? It's raping, Deep, and I helped. Shake and bake. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> Joe in the, with that one. in the big city. Joe? Pardon me. Would you have any Jimmy the Poupon? That's actually not bad. Uh, that's not really as bad as it came off. His delivery stunk. <laughs> right, let's go back to the I stage. could take out my bacon, stick it in your can. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back to Kenny on stage. So the other night I'm home watching TV, and I'm Here watching this movie that's got a brutal rape scene. And you know what I don't understand? Why is it every time after a chick gets raped, they always take a hot shower? What are they trying to do, wash away the memories? <laughs> and is it still considered a date rape if you don't take them to a movie afterwards? And speaking of rape, you know what my fantasy is? To rape a bride. Right in a white dress and everything. I grab them around the throat with a knife. 
I drag him into a bathroom. I bend her over the sink. And like 10 minutes after she said, I do, she did. Can I say, uh, I am actually offended. <laughs> yeah. Brutal. Kenny says, love to fuck that pussy. <laughs> <sighs> wow. I'm, I'm very proud of my closing joke, though. Yeah, the closing joke will do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're getting towards the end. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was fun, though. Uh, <laughs> let's go back to Kenny. <laughs> fun while it lasted. Well, it's, uh... well, since you like rape jokes so much, how about a few pedophile jokes? <laughs> you know, when my son was a toddler, my wife asked me to give him a bath. So I decided to bathe with him. So while we were bathing, my son asked me, he goes, Daddy, how come your penis is different than mine? And I said, Son, because you don't have a boner. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen what is to the wrong silence. Wow. <laughs> listen to the silence. The sounds of silence. I do like that old commercial he used to do, though. Cun, 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 cun. And boy, if that bombed, was Fan going to get called out? But since it didn't, I wrote it. Listen to the silence again. And I said, son, because you don't have a boner. Because you know how you can make your dick look really big? You put it in a five-year-old's hand. And of course, everybody knows what you do when you're done fucking a bald pussy. You put the diaper back on. Someone yeah, said what, yeah, what, yeah and what, clapped. One friend. Now that I accomplished what I had to do with all the groans, I'll leave you with this. All right? You seem like a smart crowd. Is it the slick back? What's the difference between a clever midget and a girl with a venereal disease? Uh. One's a cunning runt. Thank you. You've been a good crowd. Enjoy the holidays. Good night. Do you know? Club Soda Kenny, everybody. Show him some love. 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 Show him a, a rake over his head. Why show him love? He wouldn't recognize it if it appeared. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. A little harsh there, Kenny. Did you like my closing joke? Yeah, I heard about, you know, when I was a kid, Shelly Sunstein used to tell this joke uh, on WPLJ in the morning. And me and my friend would tell each other the joke. And that was one of the jokes that I heard when I was like 15 in high school on WPLJ, uh, 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 a cunning runt. Really? Yes. So it brought back some fun memories for you, Jimmy. Yes. What you're saying. Exactly. Yeah, but it's kind of so running cunt. Oh, is that it? Oh. I didn't know yeah. there was a reverse there. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go to yeah, Dan. Yeah, what's the difference between a clever midget and a girl with a venereal disease? Wait. What? Well, oh, what? now I get it. We get oh. it. We get it. A clever midget uh, is a smart little fella? Yeah, one's a cunning one. The other one has a running cunt. No, the other one is, oh, not has. Thank you, right. Captain Obvious. Uh, Dan in Vermont. Yeah, dude, I'll bring the jack and see if I can look him up that radio. Uh, is he doing a bit? Dan. Uh, Dan. He must have been hold for a while. Yeah. He's gone, no, he's, like, trying to smash a radio live on the show or something. And it's failing miserably. Dan. Dan. Did you have a good Christmas, dude? Well, who is he talking to? Dan, who are you talking to? <laughs> Oh, please kill yourself on the say, air. You're going to hear a gunshot. In a second. That would rock. Dan? Boom. This is not Dantastic. We won't be ignored, Dan. Ambrose, yeah, this is Mr. Dude. That's just pretty cool, man. You can, like, take a picture, dude. So let's fucking just print the picture out in, like, two seconds. What a dope. He has no idea he's on, or yeah. is this a bit? Sorry, no, it's not a bit. Is. He's. It, it, it's too awful to be a bit, even from a... a a bad listener. Dan, last chance. Yeah, you don't even need a computer, dude. You just plug the cord from the camera to the printer and oh. fix it there, like. This is like behind the scene Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kenny, anything else uh, you want to say? I want to wish all the people a happy new year. 
All right. You, See, want, you want to say goodbye love. to Canada, or uh, or should we do that? Uh, yeah. Uh, just a little country. What happened? They're not, they're not going with the program? They are. Would you like to say goodbye to Canada, or should we do it? Up to your act, I think we were fine. I think we were just fine. All right, Ken. What? Oh, you can't blame me for their country. All right. Good, goodbye. Thank you. And I, I'll, I'll talk to you about our New Year's plan all in right. Philly at the Tower Theater. With okay. Jim Norton. Yes, we're all going down there. So, <laughs> All right, Make Kenny. Sure everybody gets the tickets. All right, thanks. Bye, Have doll. Have a nice day anyway. All right. All right, bye. Ninety percent of that was a really good bit. <laughs> oh. Man, he is just that is beyond anything I And like they that, were enjoying him up to that point. They were actually enjoying him and then he was like they're like uh yeah. I think when he did his so called rape joke when he just described a rape yeah, rather yeah. than having like some sort of punchline. Any kind of punchline or humor to it or irony or anything but just a description of a horror. Rape's a tough one to sell in comedy, but it can be if you do it right, if you sell it right, if the joke is good. But, like, when you just describe it and then go, <clears throat> at the end. Yeah, that's <laughs> not quite it. <laughs> what a twisted... Your tag is, so that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. That's really good. That's twisted fuck he is, man. All right, well, we'll, uh, we'll step aside, regroup. I've got a tinkalope. I know. Bill Byrne oh. Studio, are we promoting anything today, Bill? Uh... I'm going to be at Caroline's January 5th through the 8th. Look at that. Where are you New Year's Eve, sweetie? Oh, Jesus, Jim. I'm in Livonia, Michigan. <laughs> Holy shit. Livonia, at a, Michigan. At a, at a, that sounds little, like a black girl's name. At a little, hey, club, Livonia. At a little club called Kickers. <laughs> Kickers. Kickers in that, Livonia, that a, Michigan. a dance club next to it. Oh, it's one of those deals. You ever get like called in like August <laughs> for a gig like uh, four months down the road? Yep. Yeah, it's good money. Fuck it. I'll do it. And then all of a sudden, December comes along. Like, am I in, What am I doing? Am Kickers. I in greater Detroit? <laughs> Bill, is it a million a night? <laughs> no, <laughs> kickers, kickers. It might be a great gig. And though. what night is that? <laughs> He's such an asshole. What night is that? <laughs> what is? Oh, 29th, thirtieth, thirty-first. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is what I was going <laughs> yes. for. You're gonna be in yeah. Livonia. Kickers. Livonia, Michigan. New Year's Eve, really? Yeah. See, a lot of guys go for, like, you know, theaters, or they go for an A-room, but not me. I, I keep it real. I keep it gully. <laughs> I'm just, what's sadder is that there are people that actually live there that that have to spend New Year's Eve Yeah, there. you can leave. You're at least making money. Yes. Oh, this is pathetic. You guys are, like, some of the meanest people on the planet, and, like, this gig is so bad, you're actually trying to find something positive about it. I'm trying. Well, but, no, no, I've done enough gigs right now. It's a gig. It's money, man. It's like, you, I, I'll work any club, like, if the money is right, who cares? But Buy yourself a new wristwatch. Yeah, buy yourself a new wristwatch, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> my, my, my wife loves that car. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, just uh, somebody has to say to his wife, look, honey, we can't spend that money, or I'm not going to be able to get tickets for kickers. Right. That's the, the, they're the problem. You're doing the right thing doing the gig. What are you doing on New Year's Eve? Kickers. Oh, you're doing the kickers? Because we're going to kickers, too. That's like all the talk of Livonia. K kickers is the place it is. In, in Livonia, Michigan. <laughs> wow. All right. I guess it's you know, the guy who owns it used to be a kicker in the NFL. So what he did he was... He had an abusive spouse. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. What happened to Black in her eye? Had yeah, closed. <laughs> Uh, lives it, in Livonia. I've Let's never, see what Livonia's all about. All right. It's a national talk show. we got people listening all over the joint. Eric in uh, Livonia, Michigan. What's up? What's up, guys? Happy birthday, little Jimmy. Thank you very much, sir. Will you be going to see Bill Burr at Kickers in Livonia? Hell no, I wouldn't be caught dead there either. <laughs> what is, uh, what is uh, Livonia like? Uh, it's just a suburb of Detroit. I mean, it's your typical suburb. Yeah, but Detroit isn't really your typical city. Is it a, is it safe? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's only maybe five or six murders every week. Can you that still see show. Snake Plissken walking down the... Oh, All right, <laughs> Thank you for uh, helping us Plissken. out with Livonia. The <laughs> guy has not enlightened us at all. With that, we should cut our losses, go to break. We'll continue with Bill Burr and Jim Norton and the rest, okay? Right. Uh, we got Howard Stern talking about the number one satellite radio provider here, Ooh. XM Satellite Radio. Bill Byrne Studio. He's playing Livonia, yeah, Michigan, Livonia, Michigan. Uh, starting tomorrow, I guess. Why tomorrow? Well, this guy Patrick in Detroit. He's a little, uh, 
Oh. He's a little pissed off, I think. Patrick? Yo. What do you got? Hey, uh, Bill Burr better need to, uh, need to get a hold of his agent or something because Kickers is taking reservations for an 8 o'clock show for him tonight. They got him on their website starting there tonight and playing through New Year's Eve. Well, he was originally scheduled, but then he's like, fuck that, I'm not going out. It was a con contract dispute. Right. I'm kidding, of course. Enjoy oh, staring at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great fucking joke. No, that's for real, man. Who's there? I'm on the website right now. Get the fuck oh, out of here. Hawk, why don't you jump on that website? Get off the wrestling site. Kickerscomplex.com. Oh, no, let me look at fucking Eric's doing this. Right Get it up. All right, is it advertising? No, I'm not. You, I better not be. 28 through the 31st. I called him yesterday and booked a fucking table for you tonight at 8 o'clock. You better get on a plane soon. Or else what? I don't know. <laughs> or else I'll have to wait till Friday. Yeah. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait, you, you, you're starting to think you might have to be there? <laughs> it's not like I haven't done this before. Oh, no. It would be hilarious if I'm supposed to be in like a fucking airport terminal right now. We're trying to find out Wednesday for you. Wednesday and Thursday, 8 p.m. It does say... Wednesday oh, and Thursday, no. 8 p.m. showtime. You got a uh, you got an 8 o'clock show Get tonight. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I swear oh, to God. my God. 20 8 acres in Livonia, Michigan. Can you please call us tomorrow morning from Livonia, Michigan? Or how about tomorrow the... morning? i got to make a call right now. <laughs> i got to go right what now. What if I have a flight? Maybe I have a flight. Do I have a flight in the afternoon? Probably. Holy shit. Holy shit. shit. Whatever. Uh, you hey, listen, how guys. Do you not, I, how do you I had not a great time. Me. Thanks for. What are you uh, saying? The flights to Livonia? Believe me, Bill. There's plenty available. <laughs> 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 no one's gonna say the flights to Livonia are sold out. We can out. get one of our trucker friends to just you know yeah. pick you up and get you up there. I'll drop y'all. I'll drop y'all. Oh, you're pitching O and A bits the whole way out there. <laughs> <laughs> I got a friend of mine. <laughs> you was goddamn funny that time you was doing that thing on the show. Uh, what was that thing? <laughs> The whole drive to Livonia. Hey, Patrick. So, you like gangster fag? <laughs> Patrick, I think you're on some because Bill's panicking a little bit. Yeah, well. He's going to go make a phone call. I know. They they, they got a two-for-one ticket, too, so uh, it's oh eight bucks God. to see him tonight. Two-for-one. You got so, two-for-one ticket? You yeah. Got, you got ten hours to get there. You're fine, me, Bill. Me and my friend are paying four bucks each to come see you tonight. So you better get there, man. <laughs> two-for-one ticket. And you better be good. I want my four dollars. No, 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 no. Now you no. can print that, out and that's, clip. That's, that's trick advertising. Do you see it? It's right there on the page. Really. Wednesday or Thursday, 8 p.m., two-for-one. Yeah. yeah, it's two for one Wednesday because I'm not going to be there. Bill's 28 through 31. It does say 28 through 31 on the calendar. Wait, show him the show Bill the calendar so, so he doesn't think that would be four days. 28 through 31. Today's mm -hmm. the uh, and my in entire infrastructure is on vacation. Oh my God! All right, Patrick. Hey, hey, and and Bill, don't worry. Uh, Livonia is uh, extremely Caucasian, like you. You'll be safe. What what, what airline do you, you guys fly? are the scary one? What airline? <laughs> huh? Why don't you check? Make sure you don't have a flight. Dude, I, I don't know any, you know, the, the mere fact that I'm here and I should be on a plane, we should let you know I don't know what I'm flying. Hey, we got a trucker, Lance. Lance will get you there. Lance? Yeah, this is, uh, I'm going to Livonia there. I give him a ride. He might have to grease up a little bit, but I can get him in there. He's in big trouble, Lance. Right. We don't use a heavy board like you, Lance. <laughs> <laughs> Alabama trucker, what's up? Hey, guys. Hey. Bill, Burr, Bill Burr is coming to fucking Alabama, and I've scheduled this all be home, and I can't wait to see him at the Stardome. It's going to be fucking awesome. Well, when, to... when is Bill coming to Alabama? You might want to let Bill know, because I'm sure he doesn't have a flight. <laughs> Not <book>. a clue. <laughs> yeah. it's, this, it's this February the night. And, and Jimmy Norton, you need to bring your little faggot ass down there, because I want to see you, too. Well, you know, sir, hurtful talk like that <laughs> isn't going to get me booked. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the exact thing that's going to keep me up. <laughs> it's just giving you some hot tub talk. <laughs> hot tub <laughs> talk. <laughs> All right. And now someone is saying there's a snowstorm coming, so you better hurry and get the hell out of New York. Right. No, that's great. That'll be my that'll be my. Woody excuse. in Detroit. Hey, there's a, there's a big snowstorm on its way into Detroit right now. Oh, shit. That means I can't go? Uh, no, I'm sure if you show up by, uh, you know, 5 o'clock, you can get out there, no problem. The airport's right by uh, Livonia anyway. So then there's really no urgency here. I'm impressed by None. all the Michigan uh, listeners, you know. actually. All right, let's go to uh, Greg in Tennessee. Greg? Hey, guys. Hey. Hey, man. Uh, I got my XM radio about a month ago. Yeah, yeah. And, man, I haven't changed this station since I installed this thing. Ooh. And I think you guys kick ass. All right, on, man. Thank you. I listen to you every day, listen to the replays every night. Oh, yeah, you do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And just for saying, for everybody 
who got their XM radio for Christmas just so they could wait on little Howard Stern. Yeah. They can take their radio and shove it up their ass sideways. Yeah, I suppose you enjoy the show, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have a lot of laughs? <laughs> Do ya? <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Greg. I was expecting Thanks, a really bad... That was really a surprising... Sometimes you can tell about the time. Nice. I've, uh... Whenever a call starts out like that, it's never a I good know. call. I've had my, uh... Oh, shit. All right, but uh, he was in a good Gotta say hi to everyone that got the XM for Christmas. They're checking us out for the first time. Hi. Hey, uh, pop culture. And, uh, you're going to go make a phone call? <laughs> I'm going to find out. Bill Burr is going to find out if he I has to get on a plane. On yeah, well, we should do it on the air, actually. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Why not? Get the phone number. We'll do it on the air. Okay. Uh, everyone's, <clears throat> excuse, it, excuse me. Everyone's doing their year in review crap. Yep. Pop culture, uh, 2005 in review. All right. Why don't we uh, take a listen to this <clears throat> and stop when we have to. In 2005, stop. the iPod Nano and the <laughs> Xbox 360 were the hot sellers. What about satellite radio? That was one of the yeah. hot sellers. Well, she doesn't know. Hope. She's dumb. In my stupid little circle, man, I can't tell you how many satellite radios were bought. It was unbelievable. Maybe, unbelievable. Maybe she's involved with a company that has uh, an interest in satellite radio not succeeding. Britney Spears had a baby. Remember when she was merely a cheerleader that you would sleep with? <laughs> Michael Jackson arrived to court fashionably late. Showing up in his pajama pants. I mean, Michael Jackson. Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith was the top grossing film of the year. And everybody was talking about Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> it's about love that... It's a year in review. And they're saying everybody was talking about this movie. Yeah. yeah for maybe the last couple days yeah and no one has th thought of revenge of the sith in eight months no i can't even say that word sith Re Re revenge of the jewish boy oh that's sith <laughs> revenge of the sith there's sith. Sith revenge that's why these year in review things are ridiculous right by the way uh newsflash yes if steve martin dies the day the pink panther comes out i'm gonna laugh sorry go ahead oh so will God. i jimmy so will i that fucking disgrace some movies should not be remade. Why would you do that? Especially to comedies, because there's some movies that are worth uh, remaking because the technology got better, yes. blah, blah, blah. But comedies, never. That in-laws movie was on again. What the fuck were they thinking with Michael Douglas's remake? And he did it with Beyonce. Stop with the black chicks to try to get your audience and their audience. Yeah, it's a crossover, man. Oh, he's going to work. Awful. The Longest Yard, why? Why? I, I don't get it. Just weren't the original. I don't get it. So uh, before the movie started yesterday... At the uh, theater, the movie theater, they had a little thing on uh, keeping your cell phone yeah. off, yeah. and it was Steve Martin as in Inspector Clouseau. Oh, okay. It was so bad, I, 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 I couldn't even watch it. Well, the cell phone was ring. <laughs> it was pretty funny though, because his cell phone's like ringing in his pocket a lot. <laughs> yeah, and and uh... he was uh he was doing Inspector Clouseau, which him doing Inspector Clouseau is his wild and crazy guy voice from uh, SNL. Oh, I didn't hear him talk. It, I... Oh, yeah, he talked. Oh, yeah. And it was the exact voice of two wild and crazy guys. Ugh. What a fucking ass. Horrid. Peter Sellers, when he is doing uh, the parallel bars, and he's on the fucking parallel bars, and he jumps off, and he falls down a flight of steps. The dismount. You're not going to do anything that funny. Yeah. That was what he did. And those movies hold up, too. Just They're rent the originals. Great. Yeah. You're so right, Jimmy. I'm so glad the Honeymooners bombed, bombed. as bad as it did because then we don't have to sit through any more. Because if that movie uh, did well, they, <clears throat> excuse me, ma'am. You're right. If that movie did well, they would have th thrown a bunch of those at us. People are laughing because they're able to watch Bill Burr through the glass oh. talking on his phone on, on camera. The pal talk is going to take over the world. Yeah, in the pal talk. Year. People get an insight to the show that's a little different. Uh, than just listening to it, because they're commenting, they go, "Holy shit, Bill Burr is on the phone outside the glass talking." Yeah, this is real. Bill, Bill, uh, I'm totally fucked right now because uh, you, stupid Jason Steinberg is in. Uh, calling him stupid. I don't know where my fucking gig is. He's uh, he's out of the country. Out of the country. And uh, Booker's not answering. So what do I do now? I call the club. I would call the club. Yeah, call the call club. Call the club, then call the air airline. Might you fly? I We're mean, looking you, at a calendar right now, and it definitely says that it's you. Oh, but again, sometimes it has Bill Burr blocked off from 28th through the 30th. Yeah, but it's only like an hour and a half flight, so I would think that he would book me on an afternoon flight, right? So that you would, think you might just have a sense. flight oh, waiting for him? Well, where, where would you? How would you know about your flight info? Normally, an email or something? How hour and normally a half would you find into out? Livonia? 
Because even if it's tomorrow, how huh? do you know it? Where do you fly? It's, it's, it's right, Detroit, no, it's, and then you drive uh, to Livonia? Yeah. They actually just it's, open it's the door. It's a suburb. It's jump. like, uh, it's... <laughs> 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 yeah, give me some old Pete Anthony bumper stickers. Yeah. I'll toss them out. As well, I'm Bill, you got to go tomorrow. How would you normally find out your flight? Like, they're, they're not there anymore, so would you normally just check Jim, your email? I'm not an organized person. Okay. I think it's somewhere, I think some, it. somewhere <laughs> within. Dude, I'm a comedian. I'm never. I'm know. learning about Bill. I actually know him for many years. I would have thought that. Ben this loves was, when things go wrong. He too. Just, uh, that's what, for anybody but him. This is so not helpful. Ben is this just not helpful. Yeah, yeah, like, can, fuck, can where am I going? I'm really surprised no one has turned around and just punched Ben in the face because he'll laugh openly at your demise. He really does. Not that demise was the right word there, but I think you got the the point. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's not a demise, really. It's just a... I would no, check uh, no airlines. Problem. Call a couple Oh, wait, wait. Ellen DeGeneres is dancing on TV. I, I feel better oh, now. Oh! I feel better now. There she goes. Look at the guys. They're all dancing. They just love her. Oh, wow. That's got to be so much fun to be there. You know what I want to you know see Wait, this dancing? might be the one where my sister's dancing. I'll tell you in a second. She went to one of these things. Groucho Marx. I'm embarrassed that she was dancing. Why don't you have one of your listeners somehow get into the uh, studio audience? The Wouldn't it be great? I want to see an Dry Arab humper. with a winter coat indoors dancing and putting his hands in his pockets. So you know something awful. And then when she dances in front of him, he doesn't blow himself up. He just jerks off on her. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the pop culture of 2005. You know when she dies, they're going to be like, she always loved to dance. She's such a good dancer. She hates it, though. <laughs> she, like, that she'd try to stop it, and they would not let her stop she's it. She's Ellen. She can do what she wants. She could stop it if she wants. Why did you change the channel, Iraq? You didn't think they were done. Oh, okay. This is your favorite. I bet you dance alone in the fucking apartment. Everyone when you're is this. dancing with her. Oh, the yeah. cameraman. The camera you, know, guy. you know they hate it. You know they. Oh, hate it. wow. All right, back to the audio. Ugh. You ever dance like that when you pretend you're on a fucking balcony shooting innocent Holocaust victims? <laughs> 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 fucking hairdo. Oh, than you. We <laughs> back in his hair. You yeah, think? he's doing the old ring around the tub. I'll kill you for it dance. I notice he's greasing it down, trying to like just a little bit. Just uh, it'd be great if she rolled off the back of the chair yeah. and right through that yes, window. Yes, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> ben called the club and they don't know if Phil's playing there tonight either. How they do don't... they not know? Uh, that's kickers. Like called yes. They don't know? Good. No. They don't know? I don't know. That's not my fucking fault. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. I'm relaxed now. Yeah, he's sitting back. All right, let's get back to this audio. Pop Culture 2005, <laughs> the year in review. We're in the middle of this. It's about love that can't be fulfilled. Cowboys who secretly want to get in each other's pants. The must-have pet this year? A puggle. That's what you get when you mix a pug and a beagle. If there can be a puggle, then why can't there be a Brangelina? In Hollywood, Brangelina was born after Brad dumped Jen. Oh when the year started, Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston were still married. We felt that they would last for a while, and then here comes Angelina Jolie. I hope uh, oh. 2006 is the year to get oh. rid of that style of doing that TV fucking shows. three second in and out clip show shit is atrocious. It was oh. a, a couple times. It was a great yeah. idea. At, uh, even we did one. That's how. <laughs> worn down that what, what, is. what rung in show business are you? Like, what are you between? You know, a mime and a comedian. Uh, yeah, Big Apple Circus clown, and uh, and John Wayne Gacy's version of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I, we were at the cellar last night, <laughs> and I saw uh, Patrice on one of those. I mean, we've all done them, though, so I can't share yeah. him because I've done them, too. They're atrocious. Because they never use the funny shit you say. They never no. use the brutal stuff. It's always the cutesy. Do the impression of it. That Richard yeah. Pryor, I Ain't Dead Yet, motherfucker, special they did on Comedy Central, I wanted to throw up. Yeah. I wanted to throw up. They just did the same thing. Grab the cutesy clips. Everybody doing mud bones. Fucking, ugh. Oh. Just oh really? I haven't seen that yet. You believe me? Thank God. <laughs> Clip shows. Yeah, it's done. Brutal hacks. Who shouldn't even be talking about Jeff Foxworthy if he died? <laughs> 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 fucking just terrible. You know, I remember watching Richard Pryor back when. Shut up. Well, they had Colin. You're not was even on worthy. They had you know Juan and I guess Mooney. They, they, I think they did that, okay. but it was just. Awful. You know, the Comedy Central edited it. Right. All right, let's get did Mooney to... uh, blame uh, the white man for his death in any way, shape, or form? I don't know what that motherfucker did. <laughs> 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 no, nigga, please, people. I mean, I'm a... Pop culture <laughs> review. Let's get back to this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you <laughs> like needed a little drink. <laughs> and that... Jimmy does impressions, man. <laughs> it's a, a dead-on Paul Mooney. I saw that nigga. I knew the motherfucker didn't do it. <laughs> 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 the Chardonnay. Oh, you know what? We're not going to go back to that. 
Thank no. You. Thank you, Than. What would you bring, Than? Than what brings Than a lot of do? good stuff to the this table. This might be fantastic. We'll it's have to. It's got to be fantastic. We'll have to yeah. Say. Uh, boy, little water, boy. Boy, it's the Pink Panther trailer. Audio. Oh wow. The crime of the century has been committed. Yes, yeah. this film. <laughs> and only Fuck one up. man can solve it. Officer Jean Cluzeau, gendarme, third class. Ah. Ooh. Set it to hell. He's got a partner. Without warning, I will attack you. In this way, I will you keep you vigilant and allowed. <laughs> Good one. Thank you. He's oh, got a I clue. Bet it's funny. He was just found dead. Was it fatal? Yes. How fatal? Completely. Ah. Steve Martin. Kevin Klein. I see you have one of these collapsible pointers. We just snap it in and... And Beyonce knows. Ah! Newspapers! The Pink Panther. You know what, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> You stink! <laughs> you should be fucking ashamed of yourself. Hallelujah. Uh, What's the matter? They couldn't get a fatter, saucy black girl? Enough already. The Queen Latifah. We get it. You're the goofy white guy. The older gentleman. He makes me sick. He used to be so funny, too. Yeah. His stand-up was actually innovative. You know, arrow through the head. <laughs> <laughs> He's a nut, this one. But it was innovative because he was the first to do that. I agree. He was funny at and times. And then he became hacky after that. Cat handcuffs. <laughs> King Tut. No, are you kidding me? Today, if you went on stage with an arrow through That's the head and saying. a banjo, <laughs> right. no. you'd would... be immediately a comic genius. Oh, my God. They would kill you. <laughs> they would fucking kill you. He was winning Oscars. Yeah. He yeah. little short films. He did some funny movies. I mean, he really fun. He did some of the like, fucking the jerk planes, trains, automobiles, rocks. Yeah, he was great. Planes, but, trains, automobiles. How great was he on SNL? He was always hilarious. But, but this then was a fucking disgrace. He crossed over. Yeah. All right. And uh, even that other one. What, what's uh, that movie? Bringing is down in the now? house. What's fucking cheaper by, by the, the dozen? dozen. Yeah. Cheaper by the dozen two. How much? How much for your dignity, Steve? I have that on DVD. I own oh, that. Oh wow! Cheaper by the dozen. I'll be over watching oh. that. Just once a year, I have to take it off the shelf. Yeah. I'll we'll watch it tonight when you're not at uh, Kicks or Kickers. <laughs> kickers or... How about Cheaper by the Fives, starring Andrea Yates? <laughs> no, that's a movie you gotta see. <laughs> uh, I am the Pink Panther. Are you? Yeah, really? Are you, Steve? <laughs> why don't you just fucking... Why don't you remake uh, Being There, too? Why don't you steal that? Why don't you steal that? <laughs> you are suspected of drowning your babies. <laughs> Did you drown your babies? <laughs> I say five pillows without head imprints in them. I will need the testimony of the weeping grandmother. <laughs> Mrs. Smith, your van was found in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> Your children were strapped in the baby seats <laughs> as it rolled backwards into the lek. Into the lek? That's what I said, the lek. Because you're trying to be Russian all of a sudden. <laughs> Mr. Spanberg, a little Lisa was a f all right. chant to the radiator. I'm looking for a little Connell. Peterson. <laughs> he had a little baseball hat and his head was detached from his body. <laughs> Is it true you took a boat out and dumped your pregnant wife into the water? <laughs> the cowboy hat was found with the note. Why does she sound German? It's that fucking hairdo, Eric. It's rubbing off on my impressions. <laughs> We found her little six shoot hairs <laughs> next to her little strangled body. <laughs> oh, he should fucking be decapitated. <laughs> he should be decapitated. Speaking of decapitation, <laughs> little Adam Walsh. Oh, I didn't want to see the name. Of course you did. What do you think? He's listening? <laughs> With our luck, yes. I wonder how Blake Edwards feels about this fucking thievery. Is he dead? Oh. Is he? Then I don't He's know. He's gotta be. Is he? 
I guess he you haven't heard his that. name <laughs> I can associated really, with this. All thing. of a sudden, yeah. I'm obsessed with Blake Edwards. I don't think he's alive anymore. All right, let's get back to the audio. Kind of culture. the whole momentum of that. It really did. Who is it? <laughs> <laughs> God. That's why we move on. We got all sorts of things to move on. Doesn't he have a to. show on XM? Blake Edwards? No. Pop culture <laughs> in review. He's a kicker. And that's just what she did. Uh -huh. Jessica Simpson walked out on Nick Lachey. I was really shocked that Nick and Jessica broke up because Were they seem to have the right relationship. <laughs> really? Jessica was the Faggot? flower. Nick was the gardener. It's but the news of celebrity romances wasn't all bad in 2005. Does every clip show have to have the fucking faggot insider? Yeah. Every clip show Knows everything. has the faggoty designer, hairdresser. And, and Michael Ian Black. He's in every one. Every, every single one. Yeah. And has yet to say anything remotely funny. <laughs> <laughs> he just says sentences and then just kind of... And they put him on every single one of these And shows. all of a sudden, she left him. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it was a good year for that type of genre. <laughs> The celebrity romances wasn't all bad in 2005. Demi and Ashton tied the knot. I still don't believe Demi and Ashton Kutcher. After all these years of dating, no one ever thought it would work out. Demi and Ashton is its so clearly a photo op. Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes are having a baby. While Tom was hanging all over his Katie, he was jumping all over our Matt. Oh, Matt, Matt. You, you don't even... You're glib. Oh, he should have blasted him right in the face. Hanging and jumping, kind of like, because they're both physical things you do. Right. Yeah. So, that was, uh, that was wonderful. Oh, the phone's ringing while I'm on the radio. Oh, boy. Hello? Hi, Esty. Can I call you back? I'm on the radio. Yeah. Esty! Hope he says hello, Esty. Okay, Bill Burr says he doesn't need the club anymore. I'll call you back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm only here for like one or two days. This is totally Now it's all about Jimmy. It's uh, Esty from the it's Comedy I wish, I wish somebody at Kickers would call me. Yeah. Bye. Where the hell is the manager Bye. at Kickers? Esty's... Uh, I love her. I told great. her I'm on the air, and she's like, I just have to know if you're here next week. That's Esty. She always just, hooks me up when I go down there. The comedy Cellar is a great, great comedy club here in Manhattan. Uh, if you're visiting New York, check it out, because it's the, it's the home club for all these guys when they're trying out their stuff before they hit the road. Yeah, and anytime Seinfeld or Chris uh, Rock goes on there, you never know who's going to walk on stage yeah. and do a few minutes. It's great. Anyway, a lot of controversy um, on the um, uh -oh. instant feedback yeah. and the uh, pal talk. Yeah. Apparently, Tony P. from Ohio, Jesus Christ, give a motherfucker five minutes to figure out pal talk before banning him from the room. I'm hearing a few people getting a little power crazy now. Right. In uh, pal talk, and they're they're kicking and banning some people from the room. I don't know what Tony P did. I think the only thing this. you should be banned for is pulling out your cock. pulling out your cock. Well, let, now let's not jump to conclusions, Ope. There might I be a reason for it. I don't know this Tony P. I don't know what he does. <laughs> Tell him you don't want to see his cock. He won't show it. Believe me. Hey, you know who they should ban from making movies? Steve M. Right. Steve M. has a problem. You know what would be great for me to do? Tony P. I'm banning him from instant feedback Bam. for complaining about pal talk. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and we're sending someone over to your house to take your XM away from That's you. That's right. Right in front of your eyes. Flush it down the toilet. <laughs> and we're going to fuck your girlfriend and ban you from her vagina. <laughs> I don't know why he was banned. All right, we got a little more pop culture, the year in review. Hollywood's young actresses seem to all be shrinking. There was Nicole Richie, Lindsay Lohan, Hilary Duff. And we just... What? What did she say? Yeah, what did she add to she that? She listed people. Nothing. <laughs> Typical <laughs> dumb broad. Nothing funny. She listed people. Ah, <laughs> uh, there was this one, that one, this one, that one. How come I can't get on stage? <laughs> 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 How come they say men are funnier than we are? <laughs> and we just couldn't take our eyes off Bobby and Whitney. Nothing can stop Bobby and Whitney. And their show was alternately beautiful and then amazingly embarrassing. Oh, my stomach. Ew! When you mix... Can I point something out? Yeah. Fuckhead trying to sound smart. You say alternately beautiful and amazing. You don't have to say alternately this. You understand? He said alternately and then didn't give two alternate things. An alternate. Yeah. Right. He's a, the man's a boob. Alternately a faggot. <laughs> when you mix... Good example. Crazy people, crack, and fun, you're going to be together forever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can sum up this year's music hoop. in three simple oh, words. Yeah. Mariah, Madonna, and Kanye. Mariah, Madonna, 
Although many tried to write Mariah Carey off. I did not think that Mariah could come back. I thought she was too crazy. She made a big comeback this year. I mean, you don't you. get my touching feet. <laughs> what the fuck? What? This, this is I mean, just nonsense. This is Bad nothing. Man. He didn't think she could come back because she's too cr- she's too, too nutty. Crazy? She's too I crazy? did not think. He starts everything real slow. Yeah. <laughs> like, like like something amazing right. is going to come out and then nothing happens. It's just uh, dreck. <laughs> nothing. I had no idea. Crazy sells that records. Tommy you Lee got sure. another tattoo. <laughs> yeah, right. Who who wants to shoot themselves editing this? Like, who is the poor motherfucker that has to sit there making shit and edit this crap together? Anything on mean a you say, they take out. Anything mean you can yeah. these, these can be fun yeah. to do if you could destroy the celebrities. I've done yeah. a few. You just smash them. You know, yeah. you, whatever tragedy they had, whatever drunk driving ticket they got, you fucking make fun of. Yeah, right out. They'll, they'll put the other, the fucking gay designer going, and the hair was messy. You know what we should do? <laughs> we should take one of these exact shows, cut out all the comedians they use, and re-edit it with our guys. I love it. How much, how funny would that be? That's kind of like the bit that I was thinking of with fucking our New Year's resolutions. No, it wasn't. It was nothing like I like fucking... Your idea is stupid. Well, now that Bill Burr's here, I'm ready to give my New Year's resolution. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh oh, what is that? I don't know. He probably doesn't really have one. Let's move on. <laughs> but back to the clips. Uh, no, no, I want to hear it. I want to I hear. Lose clip uh, momentum. Uh, I don't want to be. I don't want to be <laughs> kept in back. the dark. It's going to affect my comedy for the okay. rest of the show. <laughs> Let's go back to the clips. I feel left out. Ah, uh, no, I'm sure it's nothing important. I mean, whatever it was, we can get right back to the clips. Jimmy, you've been cracking me up the last two days. Damn storm coming to Detroit. Fuck man, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> From now on, this is how I look in the studio. That line from yesterday nice. still kills me. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. Can you help? <laughs> but there's no light on him. It's only the moonlight through the window because he's there. Creepy. I don't know. Can you help me? <laughs> they, have me they have me painted as a lunatic. <laughs> we they discovered really that don't. Anthony may have some things from World War II. I have right now <laughs> two collectibles so, from that era. So Jimmy had a scenario yesterday that just... You, he's the most unstable man on his block. You know he is. <laughs> That's what we were I saying yesterday. I am not. I am completely stable. How many times enjoy... a day do you peek out from behind your curtains? Uh, Some sort of weapon once in the morning, to your ankle. Never with the weapon, but once in the morning when I'm taking a leak, the blinds are right next to the toilet, so I yeah. kind of open them with two fingers and look out just to see what kind of a day it is and see if anybody's lurking. He lives like Malcolm X, just fucking holding a weapon. A weapon. A a holding, holding a weapon. No, it's actually I hold a wiccan, and she uh, conjures up things for me. Ugh. A weapon. I don't know. I said Malcolm oh. Wecken. I said silly. You're but, wicking the whole bit, you wascally wabbit. I, just, <laughs> I got scared. I just wanted to share that thing that uh, you did yesterday with Bill, but uh, whatever. I have it's a just couple of me laugh. Dude, I'm not really half listening. I'm freaking out that I'm supposed to be yeah, pneumonia right All now. All right, why don't we just go back to the tape then? Is that a yarmulke? Yes. Yes, yeah, some uh, Jew bro- brought it in for us. Really? And it's filled with change. Oh. <laughs> Way to paint with a broad brush, Ant. Yeah. It's filled with pennies, actually. Jesus, soap. It's not oh, very so nice. Is, no, wow. it's really filled with pennies. Uh, uh, is it? Somebody needs to go to the Museum of Tolerance. <laughs> right. Good, good How irritating Bill. is that? You can shit on any other race, and you just get, you know, you get shit for it. They don't have to send you to a fucking museum. I think that's a little pompous. The Museum of Tolerance. The Museum of Tolerance. You, like you need to learn how to tolerate me. How about you take a little trip to the Holocaust Museum? Yeah. <laughs> you see what the people went through. How about you go to the and museum? Then you make a joke. But what do they have in Rwanda? They got a little Viewmaster. Oh, <laughs> that Holocaust. There you go. It's less of a budget. Yeah, I, we really don't have much of a budget. <laughs> Just look, it's machetes, a lot of blood. There you go. All right, let's get back to this. This clip show, this pop clip culture, show and stinks. It's good. I'm review. learning. Raya could come back. I thought she was too crazy. She made a big comeback this year. I mean, you don't get much bigger than that. Eight Grammy nominations. You gotta be that all right, you know With what? The bad music strung through the whole fucking thing. Get it, get this show it, get it, get it, is multi-dimensional at this point. We were talking about uh, Dick Clark being half a dick face, <laughs> and now that's up on uh, holy shit. Now that's up on Photoshop on Whackbag.com. <laughs> they have morphed half a Hulk face, the homeless guy from the homeless shopping spree, and Dick Clark's face together to make half a dick. 
Half a dick Half face. Half a dick face. Go to whackbag.com and go to the Photoshop uh, section. Th those guys are doing great stuff. Uh, gray that scotch hair up, figures. though. Huh? Gray that hair up, whoever uh, did Cigars that. Cigars and scotch. Of course. Oh, cigars, oh, and scotch. cigars and scotch. He yes. can gray that hair up in a second. He's a pro. He I, is very good. I bow yeah. to Cigars and Scotch. He does great work. Great work. Yeah. Nothing but compliments today, I've decided. Hey, you're and a look good at man us, today. Look at our little photos uh, of us stuck on the bodies of the two little girls from The Shining. <laughs> That's great. It's us as little kids. That's really good. And uh, maybe you could, uh, could could you do a, a thing of fucking Amon Gert and Hawk? <laughs> I would like to see that fucking hairdo in I Amon. saw uh, you uh, in a Nazi uniform on a Photoshop yesterday. I think page 14 or 15. You're up there somewhere. 14 or 15. Yeah. Of Photoshop volume 58. Whatever it is. Alright, here we go. In that eight Grammy nominations. I like that she's putting a few pounds on, and yet the dresses always get shorter. In her next video, she's actually bottomless. <laughs> Madonna came out with a hit CD, A Rockin' Body, and at 47 proved she's still got she's it. She's old. Madonna's hot to death. Nice. I like her. And no. so was Kanye West. I love, I Kanye really West do. was a really big story last year, and this year he did it again. Selling over 2 million CDs that racked up 8 Grammy nominations. It's smart hip hop, it's really using music in an intelligent way. And finally, there were those who were pop <laughs> icons in 2005 for pop no icon. reason at all. Paris Hilton is like, you're famous for what exactly? Paris oh, is very no good at that. being famous. Wow. For being fabulous. We love being in other people's business. I want to know who's sleeping with whom. I want to know who's wearing what. I can't help it. They're not saying anything. No. They're not. How about this? Paris is famous for being a whore, for being a hook. Why can't you really yeah. slam her a little bit? She's famous for what? She's Ooh. just famous for being famous. She's famous for being fabulous. She's famous uh, for sucking cock. And taking it on in the, the ass on video. And well, on I the might internet. Add. Yes. Good girl. Good cocksucker. Yeah. That's what it is. Was that VH1? That's why she's famous. Was that VH1? I have no idea. Uh. They're fucking head of programming. I understand. I think pop up video started these type of things, and that was a fun show. It was a good That's show. entertaining, although I didn't like reading so much. I, you know what? It would hurt looking my at head. The picture. I'm reading, I'm looking, I'm reading. I just like the theme. Pop up video. Oh. Pop-up video, I loved. It was yeah. great. It was, a, it was an innovative show. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You get a little fact, repackage. Every, that's all they do now is repackage things. They take the shows, they cut them up, they throw it in. Repackage. They pay the talent $15. That's Oh, you got paid? Uh, the third did you get paid for yours? Uh, no. I know we did one. No. We never got paid for that, right? Here's why. Because AFTRA sucks most dick. Oh. They stink after a... They're still after. looking for money from They're me. They're fucking awful. They can't get cable residuals. They don't They're even know terrible. that I'm not even part of them. Yeah, they do. They I they grabbed... They're fucking awful. I grabbed a Sharpie with a... fit. Like, if you gave a caveman a Sharpie, that's how I was holding it, and wrote on the after bill, not with you anymore, like a lunatic, shoved it in the envelope and, and sent it out. And then I got back something back saying I needed to send something to prove that I'm no longer working at an after no. shop type of thing. No, you. you figured the you fuck figured out yourself. Out. Exactly. Why should you have I'm to provide proof? I'm not sending any more money to after. You stink after. You do and nothing for nobody. In general, I'm pro union. I understand the sure. union thing. But man, I mean, we had the biggest uh, story in radio for who knows how many years, right? And we were fucked. We were so fucked. They were talking about lawsuits and arrests and everything. Now, one fucking phone call from the, quote, union to see uh, what they could do. Oh, right. or if, yeah, yeah, if our rights were infringed upon by exactly. the company to help you yeah, shell Absolutely out nothing. all this cash. Month call after them. Month they never called guys. me back. Nothing. They're fucking terrible. Because there was a Awful. point I was panicking pretty good. I'm like, wow, let's see, uh, you know, what, what's going on here. Nothing. But they had no problem uh, making sure they got their dues in time. Yeah. They do not. They, after, I have after health. I can't wait to get because the Louis Project is SAG. SAG is a much better union. Yes. And they want to merge with And merge SAG went, no. Yes, why, why would we? Why would we? <laughs> That's like Seinfeld. Is that how they said it? They did. That was exactly. Exactly. Why would we? Why would we? <laughs> why would we? <laughs> That's exactly how they said and it, That was Bill. the gesture with the left hand. <laughs> we All would disgusted. Would why would we? <laughs> Why? It's yeah. after. We all know they stink. We're not merging with you. Why would that help us? <laughs> it wouldn't. <laughs> all right. Um, 
Well, uh, Barbara Walters did the top ten. This is a lot of fun this year in review stuff. It's I got fun. It's what you got to do at the end of the year. It is the law. Well, it's it's good. It's it's great because it's so easy to goof on. Barbara Walters, top ten fascinating people of 2005, everybody. Mm. Uh, we're not going to do all ten. Let's see if it's politically correct. Just a couple highlights. We got uh, first up, Dakota Fanning was one of the top people, Hot. top celebrities of oh, 2005, sorry. according to <laughs> Barbara <laughs> Walters. <laughs> Dakota Fanning was in War, uh, War, of, War the of the Worlds. Yes. That's She's the little kid that, that that doesn't act like a little kid, and it's creepy to watch her. The, yeah, the little kid. Oh. Yeah, exactly. I hate kid actors. Yes. Aren't she, they the worst? She, they go, yeah, John Travolta was fun to work with. Yeah. yeah. Like fucking five. Oh, yeah, it was she's, great. She sounds like she's 40. We were on set, and um, we had such a fabulous time together working. And Well, my character is sort of sad, and she. I learned a lot from her. Yeah, you're five years old, you idiot. Go piss yourself. Well, here we go. Makes you happy. They'll be on crack in six years. Dakota yeah. Fanning, everyone. Doing exactly what you guys just said. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I know you guys haven't heard this. Listen to it. Do you choose your own roles, or who does? Well, um, you know, my, my agent reads the script, and yeah. my mom and I, and I think everybody kind of decides what's right for the time, but it's it's mostly me. Okay. Because, you know, when you're picking the characters, I, I have to, you know, really feel for the character and, you know, be able to p- portray it, you know, on film. I fucking... <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> Whatever I was going to say would not sum it up oh. as well as that did. <laughs> Sorry, no, no, Jimmy. please. That was perfect. I fucking hate her, and that was perfect. <laughs> How old is she? I don't know. She's like 10, She's a cowboy 11, hat in a garret. <laughs> she <laughs> certainly garage, does. Whatever they call it. <laughs> That's right. Why don't you tap dance to My Little Pony for the last time, you silly goose. <laughs> Give her one of these. Oh, jeez. Why not the pants down when Bill Burr's in studio? Actually, because I had to fart badly, and I uh, I would pull oh. him down in front of Bill. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking it's a hot ass. He wants to see it. He can see it. How old is the... <laughs> She's going to be 12 in... Uh, on my I thought there was birthday. a certain level of respect we've had for years. February, she's going to be 12. <laughs> going to be 12. So Countdown clock starts at 12, you know. That's right. For, uh, for you, maybe. All girls. <laughs> it, gets, well, it ends there. <laughs> <laughs> the hotness ends in... <laughs> All right. Uh, I like that Dakota Fanning. <laughs> Shut up. Her name just annoys me. It's such a yeah. fucking Hollywood name. Yeah, uh, Dakota. Real. Another one of the uh, top people of 2005, according to Barbara Walters, Kanye West. Of course. And here Why? he is, freestyle. Why? He's. We're just giving you highlights from this dumb special. There uh, aren't any. Here he is, uh, <laughs> freestyle <laughs> rapping for Barbara. I say really serious stuff that touches on social issues. Um, racial things uh, uh, and I get away with it because I hide it behind really good beats and mm-hmm. or hot lines so I'll make you laugh to keep from crying and I could spit a rap for you right now that you will understand also oh my god go ahead I'm on Barbara Walters you know I won't falter Jesus walked we took him to the altar much taller not shorter and I could talk to any reporter turn on your recorder you know <laughs> I love it why do you love yeah, it just record yeah. it and they'll buy it that's basically how it's going now. Wow. See, the reason why bitch. he can talk about Holy all that shit. stuff, he doesn't need to hide it. You're black. You right. what if he, no one's going to give you shit for that. Who's going to give him shit for that? That was awful. Exactly. He didn't know where to go. And that was such a bad freestyle well, rap. Barbara should have said, you know what, that was horrendous. I can yeah. see yeah. why you rehearsed before that was you recorded. really bad. She's not brave enough to do that. No, of course she's not. Oh, just record it. I'll buy it. And then she laughs. Because <laughs> I'm threatened by you, but I want to seem like I'm not. Yeah. Because in her head, if she actually said, you know what, that kind of stinks, that makes her racist. I'll, yeah. I'll Rather put that than just saying, you know what, that, that just stinks. <laughs> that just stinks. We caught it for me. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. See, because that's how I'm racist I am. Barbara Walter. I talk to any reporter. Walter. Maybe he should have read a rap about The View. That would have been a little more appropriate. Ah. I don't mean to be blunt. Star Jones is a big fat, you know, he could have done something along those lines. <laughs> I don't know what, whatever he wanted to. Well, you know, Why this, not? This is live. It's not taped. I hope Joy Behar gets, you know, however he wanted to phrase it. That'd be completely up to him. I'm not a rapper. <laughs> really? Who are you to say? <laughs> You're just giving him the thought starter. You yeah. Know. My thoughts ain't smaller. Yours are bigger. Star Jones really is a fat. I mean, <laughs> oh, I wish I Jimmy, had. Jimmy, Jimmy. I'm not good you at You have rhyming. to hide that within some good music. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that 
sorry. I'm just throwing out some. Well, right. Kanye I, I, West talks about that fine word right here. Uh, uh, Walter I'm special, sure he so. does. Let's see what he has to say about it. I was saying the other day to my friends that I feel, you know, I'm not really offended by the word nigga when white people use the word nigga, but I feel offended when white people use incorrect English around me. It's like if they throw a B in the middle of their sentence. I don't be doing this, you yeah. know, like, I'm like, okay. that feels almost like, the that feels equal to, like, what the word nigga feels like to other uh, people. But it's a word that I could never use. Yeah, well, you couldn't use oh. it because oh, um, how tired you have to be politically this? correct and you're on TV and everybody would, like, um, they have picket signs and stuff. Uh, you know, more so, than that, I mean, yeah. it would be so offensive to me. Oh, shut That's up. Oh, up. my you? God, shut, shut up. up. Uh, oh, that uppity nigger went and hit me <laughs> on the head with a shovel. <laughs> Good for him. I, you know what? I like this dude. He fucking called her out. Yeah. The same way Pryor did, by the way, fucking 25 years ago. Uh, he fucking I called her out. I would never use that word. Uh, yeah. And then he's like, yeah, because, you know, people would be protesting and stuff. Not for a second thinking because she wouldn't want to or use it or she's thought it at some point in her fucking life. But no. No, because it's just so offensive well, so dumb, to me. You can't say Anybody can say it. Right. Anyone can, yeah. can say it. It can it's come out just, of your mouth. It's just different reactions. Or who can say it? Oh my God! Hold it! I saw one the thing next one man time. Makes a move, the nigger gets it. <laughs> See? <laughs> yes, uh, Bill Burr. I saw a thing one time where they were just saying someone was someone was going. Well, white people are just mad because th there's something that they actually can't do. Like, we're, yeah. like all of us are that fucking privileged. All right. those fucking douchebags. <laughs> Eating macaroni and cheese in a fucking trailer park. That's the only thing that they can't do with yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's privileged, so oh, yeah. everyone can't exactly. say that. Exactly. It's just easy. The government Stop. sent you a bag of money and a USA Today every day. This is what a groveling worm she is. Why do you have to say that like, I wouldn't say that? It's a, It was so not pertinent to the discussion. No. Was, the way she said it made it seem like, you know, she was forcing... Mm -hmm. it, it was so forced. His approval. She felt she had to say it. If he said something like, look, all white people say that word and say it all the time, and she went, well, I can never. That's a reaction right. to what he said. But he didn't say that. Not She's at all. She's just a fucking groveling, mush mouth worm. Can I hear it again in the context? I got to hear it again. It's the hack question you have to say. You have I was to say saying the point. other day to my friends that I feel, you know, I'm not really offended by the word nigga when white people use the word nigga, but I feel offended when white people use incorrect English around me. It's like if they throw a B in the middle of their sentence, I don't be doing this, you yeah. know, like, I'm like, that yeah. feels almost like, the that feels equal to like what the word nigga feels like to other uh, people. But it's a word that I could never use. What? Yeah. Well, you couldn't you? use it because um, you had to be politically correct and you're on TV and everybody would like, um, they have picket signs and stuff. Oh, you know, more so, than that, I mean, yeah. it would be so offensive to me. That's uh, bullshit. But who cares? She had no one that, asked. She finds it offensive. It's so offensive yeah. to her. To her. Yeah. She's one of the special white people. She's Holy doing, she's doing shit. the Tyra Banks in the fat suit where she made it about her. Right. It had to be then again yeah. about her. It's so offensive to me. It's so offensive to me. You guys, I was so offended. Shut up. Pryor called her out. I think it was because she did a thing where she did all her shows, and he interviewed, I think, three times did interviews. Yeah. And he was arrogant for the He was always pain. a rough oh, interview, man. he was man. a motherfucker. And I think he was telling me, you know you say the word nigger. Say it. Go ahead and say it. He was, like, taunting with it. I wish I could remember what it was, but it was one of his earliest ones when he was still fucking. I bet she used it when he left that fucking studio. Uh, she, <laughs> said she, well, she said that he angered her. He really made her angry. Yeah, I mean, yeah. she said it a few times. All right, uh, let's move on. Some of the uh, fascinating people of 2005, according to Barbara Walters. Oh. Uh, how do you, I'm sorry to interrupt you. How do you not like Kanye West calling people out for you? Uh, uh, in, incorrect English around black people. Yeah. White guys do that all the time. They'll, you see the talk one way, like, hey, how are you? Yo, what's up, man? And the black what's guy up? Comes what's over. up? Why? Be old wigger. Be old wiggerly. But they change their diction, like, from moment to moment. Yeah. It's silly. On stage, I've seen guys do that. Silly. Where are you from? Oh, cool. Where are you from? That little subtle, you from? Why? Yeah. The you black guy won't understand you if you say, where are you from? You've never done that, though? Never. When I was in high school and drinking, and I wore fat laces, and I was a little, yeah. Leave him alone. Oh, yeah. Exactly. I got what I deserved. Chased back to my white community with guys with sticks. Jersey wigger. All right, we got some highlights me, it from... It depends on how my set's going. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, I've definitely started a bomb in front of a black crowd, and I threw in a couple, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've been guilty of that. 
Uh, but I can't say you know what I'm saying because if I said that, that would just be horribly offensive to me. We got um, yeah. we got Michael Jackson's lawyer here. What's his name? Tom? Mark Gra- Gar- Garagos. Uh, Tom Messer. What Messero or Messer? What is his I'm name? Sorry, Mark. Gra- Who's Mark Garagos? Well, he was Naga, right. Didn't he bail on oh, that case? I got work here anymore. <laughs> well, why don't we get into the audio? You said that you never space. doubted that you would win the case against Michael Jackson. Why were you so sure? Because I thought the case was built on sand. It was a case built on falsehoods. It never should have been brought. And I really thought this jury had what it took to see that. What do you think would have happened had Jackson been found guilty? I considered the Michael Jackson case to be a death penalty case. I did not think Michael Jackson would have survived prison. (laughs) No kidding. (laughs) Kreskin. That guy's a good lawyer, though. Yeah. Oh, he's a genius. And the fact is, kids went into his room, their parents were there too, no. the parents were allowed to stay over with the children, and the way it was mischaracterized and mispresented to try and By get a you conviction right now? was scandalous, it was wrong. By him right there, it was misrepresented. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, the parents were there sometimes, not in the same room, and Michael Jackson was sleeping with the kids, in his bed, with the kids, without a parent there. And this guy's now trying to paint a whole new picture. Like, oh, the parents, everyone, the fucking, the police were sleeping in another bed. Everyone, uh, everything was hunky dory. The guy's a fucking pedophile. Look, that's why he left the whole country. Devil's advocate here. Oh, stop you got it. a cute kid. Your car's not running well. <laughs> why not? <laughs> Look, Tommy, can you toughen up for one night? <laughs> I don't wanna. We'll we'll have enough money for therapy. <laughs> but, but mama, it hurts. Oh, Look, oh, can't you lay on your stomach in the back of Mama's new Rolls Royce? <laughs> Jesus. Here's one more clip. He was really battered emotionally and physically by this five-month oh. trial, and he has told me that he really loves the environment and loves the people. Do you think that people will be able to forget this trial oh. and the accusations? Well, he was vindicated. He's a great human being, and I have no doubt that he'll come back musically if he wants to. Lawyers are scum, and I know I'm stating the obvious here, but they are just such scum fucks. I, I, I hate to have to do this, but I wish his kids would be molested by Michael Jackson. Wouldn't that just be a little bitter irony for this guy? That would never happen. Because he would never leave him because exactly. he knows this guy's fucking guilty. Leave your kids over there. Leave your cute little cherubs over there with Michael Jackson in his island getaway where he's not even under any fucking laws anymore. God knows what's going on in that place. Yes, he does. He bought some island. Forget about it. It's probably the like the It's a Small World boats pulling up to there every fucking day, <laughs> dropping a new load of little kids off. <laughs> Stop. The guy's a monster. They're He's acting. a fucking monster who he was able to sing. They're acting out the sound of music. I'm <laughs> <running laughs> spinning around in a dress. <laughs> Dude, he's, fuck, he's fucking kids on the hilltop there. They're just out in public now. Watch, yeah. look what I do now. He's on an island. This really what are they is gonna do? Never Never Land. It's Never Never Land. You're never going to get me for this motherfucker <laughs> land. Doing pills, taping his nose, all those young little hairless genitals. How do you not enjoy yourself? <laughs> <laughs> little little hairless pale genitals. <laughs> Come here. They don't care. Well, he just doles out some more cash, another boatload. Oh, the... Go ahead. No, no, no. All right. Well, finally, we got uh, Tom Cruise was one of the... Uh, Oh, top ten wow. fascinating people of 2005. And Barbara Walters sat down with uh, Mr. Cruz, and we have some highlights. Do you regret anything you said or did? No, I don't know. No, it's truth. Uh, you look at uh, you know what has occurred uh, over this past year, where you have the kind of labels that have been put on these psychiatric drugs. Since I started talking out about it, and since the Matt Lauer interview, over 465,000 children have come off these depressants. So I think it's, it's, it's exactly the opposite. It's been a very successful it's summer. Him. Yeah. It's because Where, of Tom Cruise. Where did you get Cruise this info, Tom? Changing the world. Where did Tom get that info? 450,000 kids came off of it. Although, I wouldn't doubt it because there's probably these rube fucking women... These housewives and moms in the Midwest that uh, love Tom Cruise and listen to every word he says and just pull their kids off of the medications. Tom's knowledgeable. <laughs> That's what you got? Yeah. You, uh, Tom knows what right? he's talking about. I know. Anthony, you, 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 you're glib. You're very glib. <laughs> I, 
You're glib. You don't know the history of psychiatry, Anthony. He does. I now he understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This has been so fast with Katie. I mean, you just met her last April. How do you know so fast? I just knew. You know, I really just knew. It was uh, an explosion. And she's just, she's magic. And I really, I think that all men should celebrate their women. They should all jump on couches for them. I, I really, when you find that woman, you should absolutely be unabashed about it. That's, and that's how I feel about it. That's so sweet. So I really mean it. I'm, I will forever be jumping on couches. And now we're going to have, you know, children. It's beautiful. Stop trying to take an embarrassing moment and make it like I'll, I'll present this moment as yeah. if it was meant to yes. be that way. I'm just using it figuratively. It was I'll magic. be jumping on couches my whole life. That's right. That's the Wonderful. last thing you want to do is celebrate the woman you're with. No. You're creating a monster. You're not celebrating the woman yeah. you're with. Wait till, wait till fucking ten years after a few kids, you'll be jump, jumping on luggage. Because that's what she reminds you of. Just a fucking fat silverback sitting there. Not cute anymore. Stupid cold sore in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the cold sword? Yeah. <laughs> that was one of my highlights of 2005. <laughs> <laughs> Katie Holmes' cold sword. Oh, big. It was more than just one. That was just covered. Yeah. And Fuck that it. was just from eating Tom's <laughs> ass. <laughs> Old twister board mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Uh, Brand we'll new just... relationship. They're just de delving uh, into everything. Diving face first right into ass. Yeah, someone remind us for tomorrow's show. The listeners could get involved. Uh, audience participation, the real highlights of 2005. The real highlights. Yeah, one of them is definitely Katie Holmes and her cold sore. Her cold <laughs> sores. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, that was a little brutal. Just start calling tomorrow morning right off the bat with that. Help us out. Oh. You have all night to think of some good ones. Uh, more audio with Tom Cruise. Okay, the baby. Yes. Do you know if it's a boy or a girl? No. If it's a girl. We'll You're going to know beforehand. It. Yes. And I actually bought thing? a sonogram machine. And? I'm going to donate it to a hospital when we're done. Wait, you're going to do your own sonogram? Yeah, what a guy. Yeah. He's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> so you know whether it's a boy no. or a girl, don't you? No, I don't. Even though, being, but you're Barbara, looking at this. Barbara, at the sonogram. I would tell you, I would say, I know if it's a boy or a girl, and I'm not telling you. <laughs> okay. okay? So, and I would say that. Could you, could you not stop this captivating interview? I, I was so just fixated on every word. He had to say he's giving it to a hospital, you know. He had to add that in oh, yeah, just to yeah. show what a great guy he is. I bought a sonogram machine. Yeah, I could do that. Oh, I'm giving it to a hospital one. Now. We're done with it. I've read all about sonogram machines. I've yeah, and he's using it on her. Dr. Tom Cruise. Uh, that, that is just creepy. That sounds a little dangerous. <laughs> and you know? very creepy. Yeah. Honey, the head's big and the tongue is hanging out. Is that normal? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe you should just leave that to doctors that could see if it's going to be okay or come out of complete disaster. Yeah, you might want to know like early on. You don't want to find that out eight months in. No. Uh, it's not going to be smart. Oof, this ain't going to be good, Tom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how we talked about you want to do it? Find out in the first three months. Right. And the old foot comes out by the steps. <laughs> As we call it, the old whoops a daisy. The old whoops a daisy. <laughs> or paging Doc Martin. Oh, paging yeah. Doc Martin. <laughs> <laughs> You're due at surgery at the top of the stairs. <laughs> wow. Oh, I forgot about. Oh, treat that belly like a beanbag chair. Just <laughs> sit on it. Whoops. <laughs> wow. Collapse it up and watch the game. <laughs> Visit the offices of Doc Mark. One more clip from Mr. Cruz. Is there a Scientology way of, of, of having birth? Like anything, you, you want to be as quiet as possible. Yeah. And I know there's been misinterpretation mm -hmm. in terms of the woman can't make any noise. I mean, that's just not true. Bullshit. It's nutty. No. But just calm and quiet. I want Kate to be as comfortable as possible. And... Whatever she's going to go through, she's going to go yeah, through, and I'm going to be noise, there. If she makes a noise, she makes a oh, noise. Oh, she's going to make noise, I'm sure. I, I, you know? <laughs> I don't is he going to allow her any, to have pain I mean, killers? I don't no. know. You know, it's gonna, no, we're going to no go medicine. through it. No medication like oh. that. I, Everything. I would, if I was Kay Holmes' father, I would kill this fucking guy. Uh, Why? Quite a paycheck. Yeah. She's, he's probably making out pretty well. You whore out one of your daughters. You're fine. fine. She's she, but she already has money. She has an all right career. She don't have Tom Cruise don't money. Don't you fucking snub that Dawson <laughs> Creek money? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. well, the Dawson money. Right on, Bill. Nicole right. Kidman. Well, 
Yeah. You're guaranteed to be a set star for, for life. Set for life, dude. Yeah. Fucking set for life. But you're a star. You're photographed every five minutes. If you're like his wife, if you're if you're linked with crews like that, yep. I mean, that's how famous he is. Nicole Kidman, who's Big good. Big career. But, right. Oh, that's great. She'll do a movie with him. <clears throat> that's worth having birth with no drugs. And yeah, finally, why not? Finally, we didn't get to this yesterday, <laughs> the, the uh, Gary Glitter update. Gary Glitter, last we heard, when last we left Gary, he was in Southeast Asia up on child rape charges, which carry the death penalty over there. And we're not talking any 20 years of appeal death penalty. We're talking guilty, you're dead. Hey! Hey! Just done. <laughs> Electricity? Are you insane? They probably just lop your uh, head yeah, off over I, there. I bet you they got the savage best way to country. Kill that, 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 that's the right Playing way to do it. Playing a drum roll like in Papillon. Yeah. <laughs> nice little drum roll, and then. Whoosh, yeah, they don't do it the sweet over. way over there. Yeah, uh, Vietnamese police will formally charge British glam rocker Gary Glitter with child molestation and drop an additional charge of child rape. His Vietnamese lawyer said yesterday. Police have said medical tests on girls who alleged they had had sex with the 1970s rock icon. Why is he a rock icon? He had one stupid one hit. Uh, who was arrested last month led them to look into the more serious charge of raping children, which can carry the death penalty. There you have it. It should. Uh, I think there's some more info on this story today. Supposedly he paid off one of the family's $2,000. Yeah, like too, lo too large over there in Vietnam is a lot of, a lot of cake. Just $2,000 to get off the hook. Is he done? Is he out? Well, he's going to spend some time in jail. Well, he's still got the uh, child molestation uh, charge yeah. there. So, the uh, only, Vietnam is just all oh, that whole area is known. People go there to have sex with children, and this guy can't even do that right. He can't even. He's such a creep that he doesn't even know how to go about that discreetly in a country that just. It, that's what they do over there. Yeah, that's actually in their tourism brochure. <laughs> right, it's a picture of a kid crying. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> savage people. Protect your own kids. He had. He had so much child porn on his computer when he got arrested in England for it, and his computer broke, and he brought it to a repair shop, to a computer repair shop. And, like, literally, children fell out of his computer. <laughs> Nude children <laughs> were what was jamming up the works. <laughs> you, got, you got Similac in the J key. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. This guy is a monster, a predator. He's not going to be rehabilitated by a... Uh, 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 this Vietnamese justice yeah. for $2,000 to pay the family off. Get rid of him. So well, what? He made he a song. He rent out the cabana at Michael Jackson's new place. There you go. He's going to be moving over there. Let's go to uh, Pat in Boston. Pat, what did you learn on the show today? I learned a couple things. I learned that King Kong is better behaved than Mike Tyson and that Trav is the promo homo. All right. Travis. Yeah, did learn that. Uh, Josh in Arkansas. I learned that Anthony needs an additional towel for his cock. <laughs> Todd the Trucker. Morning, guys. I learned that Jimmy has a hot ass, and Bill Burke can see it if he wants to, the lucky fella. Hey, Jimmy, are you going to be able to make it to CES? Yes, I am. I'm going to be in Vegas with the boys, sir. All right, good deal. We'll see you guys there. Thanks, yeah, man. We'll be in Vegas next week. Uh, Ben's raw ass. Hey, I learned it's 2006 when the bank touches the chin. That's right. <laughs> Bill Burke, thanks for stopping in. I think he's going to be taking a flight. He, he doesn't even know. It's, it's what's the name of the club? It's uh, Kickers, Kickers in Livonia, Michigan, yeah. right, for New Year's Eve. All weekend long, starting maybe tonight, Allegedly. definitely tomorrow. Yes. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. See. You got to do that Sunday no. show too. No. Th all right, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, in Livonia, Michigan. Possibly Wednesday, no Sunday. That's Bill right. will make up his mind after the show, <laughs> whether or not he comes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Dave in Texas. Dave. Really? Uh, Katie Holmes is Twister board mouth. We love you, Jimmy. Bye, Ooh. sir. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. That's it, I'm out of here.